are there any tools or concepts people can learn uh, when engaged in this type of work? I think the biggest thing is just to have compassion. My name is Clarence Kiesman, Redeemer University College graduate, class of 1998. To put yourself in someone else's shoes for a moment, to realize maybe why they make the decisions they do out of their brokenness, and to have that compassion to just be with them, to cry with them, to laugh with them. Those are the tools that are required for this type of work, is a heart and an understanding and the love of Christ. So here at The Refuge, we work with a homeless, uh, street-involved youth, um, struggling and at-risk youth, 16 to 24, in the region of Durham. And we provide breakfast, lunch, other services, programs, addictions, but really what we want to be is a home, a place where youth are loved and they're nurtured, they're encouraged, they're safe, and they belong. So one of the things I've always valued about my Redeemer education is the fact it's liberal arts. Uh, and I keep going back to it over and over and over again, that core um, that I had at Redeemer in terms of a, a broad variety of courses, disciplines. In this small ministry, you know, I'm chief cook and bottle washer, right? So I have to interact with the bookkeeper. I have to understand GLs, but I also have to do the marketing side of things and run special events and, and then be the social worker, um, all wrapped into the, to one package. But it's my Redeemer education that has develop that. You know, the most important things in life are not the things we pursue. We pursue power, we pursue money, we pursue materialism. Those are the things that God does not call us to necessarily. But the greatest things in life are knowing that you have a purpose, and a calling, that God has you where he wants you. At the end of the day, the desire of my heart so I have four kids. Uh, when the older two were younger, uh, my son especially, loved to watch Thomas the Tank Engine. There kept being a phrase that uh, the writer of Thomas, who was a, a, a pastor, um, kept using. It was a useful little engine, be a useful little engine. At the end of the day, I hope God and my, my, my Lord would be able to say to me that I was a useful little engine that I had purpose for him, that I accomplished the things that he wanted me to do. That is the desire of my heart.